presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Up everyone's having a great day, safe day. Thanksgiving's coming up. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Manifest is where it's at, folks. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ off 76, S&P's off 8.5. Gold, gold contract up $21.80, trading at 2022 an ounce. We have silver up 29 cents, 24 dollars, 25 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $77.90 a barrel, notes and bonds, a 10 year note. Up four ticks, trading 108.31. The 30 year are down two at 115.24 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading up 118 ticks, 103.556, Euro 109, Yen 148, British Pound 125 to 1 US Dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got a heck of a rally. There's no doubt about that. And we take a look at this. You know, the bottom line is that you took out the B point, took it out with volume. It's about a week and a half ago. This Friday, right there, before the gap higher, you took it out right there. That's a 462. Thus far, we've hit 454. So 462 is not going to be that hard to do. Um, my take is that that's where we're going. We look into the NDX, uh, the Qs. We take it, and uh, the, as soon as NVIDIA comes out with numbers after the close, these Qs are going to be cooking. And what the Qs did do, the bottom line is the Qs blew away their, their swing point, the swing point that was up at that, that, that high there. Right now we are at uh, 388. And we take a look at this baby, and you can see, you know, you get this run here. I mean, the next number here is, uh, yeah, in the 400s. And if you take a look at this, this is what's really intriguing to me, is that the, the second get-go down, well, well, even if we, we take a look at the, yeah, this is the second get-go down, meaning we only did a 0 0.382 retracement. You know, from the lows that would happen in March to the highs that happened in July, a 0.382 retracement, folks, is saying, you know, you can have another ABC structure on the way up. I know that sounds bizarre, but bottom line is that you can. Now, if I go over to Microsoft, what you're going to see is that, you know, you, you got the deal with Microsoft, OpenAI, the whole battle that's going on there. You know, you get four nonprofit directors because, you know, OpenAI is, is controlled by a nonprofit. That bottom line is that uh, said, see you later. Like, you know, I, I want all your money. But I don't want your ideas. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how that shakes out. But the way Microsoft set up, man, Microsoft set up for an ABC structure all the way up to 417. And right now you're at 372. So you are talking about some numbers here. And then if we go into the dollar, what you're going to see, we take up the dollar. You know, the dollar is cracked. And it's not only cracked, but what you had is this, which is kind of cool. So you got to the high. You came off the high just slightly. You tried to make it up to the high again, couldn't handle it. All of this in here, and this is what makes this downdraft so powerful, all of that, if you're watching Tiger TV, when we went sideways for approximately a month, that 
each and every time that there was any juice, meaning that you go lower or higher, in this case we went lower, with conviction. That brings the aspect that we'll probably get out of the end of it, meaning the end of this consolidation, much higher. Particularly because where we should have got some support, it ran through like nothing, man. 104, 599, which was hard on the way up, was nothing on the way down. You know, so the bottom line is that when we take a look at this, I suspect we're going to go there first. Now, I'm going to bring this on a larger basis because when you change trend, okay, the bottom line is that, you know, we'll see what ends up happening when we get inside of this, uh, particularly about the, about the 100 mark, okay? 100, you know, is, is not a magic number. But if you do break this, okay, and we get down to that 99, well, guess what? Then you're talking about uh, an 88, and we haven't been down to 88, you know, since 2017 or 2021. That's how this thing sets up. So, big numbers. And we go over to the bonds. You go over to the bonds. The bonds might take higher price, lower yield. What we did do out here today is that you had the, um, you know, you can tell by looking at this, okay, you broke the downtrend, meaning downtrend in price, uptrend in yields. You broke it with conviction. You can see the long price movement there plus we have volume okay that's saying that we are on our way back to about a 3.7 inside of the uh 10 year and that seemed like a huge number you know only you know three weeks ago but guess what we're at a 4.406 right now so that's not going to be that hard to get that that's that's the bottom line they came out with uh the minutes, the minutes of the last Fed meeting, and the bottom line is that uh, inside of those minutes, folks, okay, they're, they're basically on board that they're going to proceed carefully. And guess what? The, the rates are, rate hikes are over. And what has happened already is that the market is pricing down the rates, just as the market priced up the rates when we were at 0.25 of 1%. When we were at 2.1%. We are at 2.25 or 1%. That bond started moving approximately three to four months before the Fed moved. And that's all that matters if you're in the aspect of how much money does money actually cost us. Because it's going to be predicated on the prime and it's predicated on the 10-year. The mortgages are predicated on the 10-year. Um, you know, the overnight rates, the credit card rates and all this are predicated on the prime. But you take that and put it all together, and then let's go to the gold contract, because you go to the gold contract. This is the delayed move. Now, this is what gold does, man, too. You know, bottom line, doesn't move, doesn't move. All of a sudden, the dollar is up a buck thirty-eight, and gold decides to go up 23 bucks. okay? Bottom line, when we take a look at gold, gold right now is probably on its way to 2,500, you know. So it's going to get really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. And if gold's on the way to 2,500, um, that... Head and shoulders that uh, Tim Wood's talking about, I, could, I suspect will come into fortune because then you'll just have all boats rising. Dow, Dow Industrial is down 61, NASDAQ off 79, SP's off 10. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We are going to be riding this wave, man. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industrials right now trading down 59. You get the Nasdaq off 76. S&P's off nine and a half. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, you can ride Basil's Chapman wave each and every day. Come on over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see on the newsletters, Hit newsletters. On the left-hand side, you're going to see the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. You get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. They all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. When you get Basil's newsletter, you're also going to get approximately 12 archives so that you understand how Basil looks at the market each and every day. Check it out. It's a 30-day 30 30 day money-back guarantee, 28th, 29th day. If it doesn't work for you, just let us know. No big deal. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, we certainly gave you a good weekend this past week in Boston, didn't we? You know, it's amazing, Basil. You did give us a good weekend, but I am such a baby now that, you know, Thursday was – I wasn't there Thursday. Tommy was there Thursday. It was it was good, but I've been in Florida too long. Your blood is yeah. Thin I've been in Florida too yeah. long. Thirty five degrees, you know, is is not <laughs> like I, right. you know, it's eighty two degrees out here today. You know, yeah, you know, the body just gets used to it. There's just no question about it. It, so, it does, and and right now, folks, what happens? The the fluctuation here is the biggest fluctuation all year. That's what ends up happening. You guys are getting colder. And we really don't get colder. When I say not, colder, it'll go down to 60, but that's not going to happen until like stabilize. the last week in December for like two right. weeks. <laughs> uh, what can I say? <laughs> anyway, it was a great time. We had a great Good. time. But I'll tell you something. I couldn't wait to get back on that plane, man. So, yeah, I can understand that. But yeah. Boston is booming beyond belief. I mean, the, a, did you get a chance? I was going to ask you if you got, did you get a chance to go down the turnpike at all? I did. I did. Did you see the, what's happened in Alston? It's just unbelievable. It's, uh, it's, it, folks, it is so over the top. I mean, you're talking about biotech. You're talking about health. You're talking. I met when, when Bridget and I were coming home. Uh, I met the CEO of uh, Edmund, uh, the chairman of the board, actually, 
you know, just on the, the rental bus going, picking up, uh, going to the terminals. Yeah. And uh, he was talking about, now he's flying in, of course, from Silicon Valley. And he's just talking about that everyone has to fly to Boston. That's the bottom line. Yeah. You, you want to do business, you're going to fly to Boston, which is pretty amazing. He, he was in the blood business, but, you know, oh. you know, uh, biotechs, blood, health. Oh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, beyond belief, man. So what we're looking at here is the, is the Dow. So the Dow is made in the Chapman Wave. I'll just show this for some people that are new to my work. I try to identify the lowest low bar, count each successively higher uh, peak, alphabetize them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to G. There's never an H. But at D, the fourth highest peak, when you get upgraded from a buy signal to a buy mode, the, the least I expect is a D. So where are we now in the Dow? We've gone to, we'll probably, we aren't going to do it today. It's too late. So the 35,227 high uh, that we made yesterday, that's peak C. If I look at the S&P, uh, did I just move something away? I guess I did. Let me just go back here. If I go to the S&P, there it is. Peak C. If I go to the QQQ, Q3, and of course, NVIDIA is coming out in a little while, so QQQ, peak C. If I go to the semiconductors, peak C. So what I had said on the 31st of uh, October, I had said to subscribers, we're going to grab, I want something that has the Dow, that has the um, NASDAQ, it has the QQQ, it has the semiconductors, not the semiconductors, but the, S, the XLK, which is the S&P select uh, tech sector. I want that. And we chose Microsoft and we were lucky. We bought it at 333, uh, three, three, eight, $338. Nice. And uh, Microsoft yesterday hit uh, 378. So it's a 40 point gain. But uh, it is at a D and it is a little extended. But if you look at the, the nine period moving average over the 14, that is still really strong. The MACD is strong. The stochastics at 91, so I still like this very much, even though it's broken out to all-time highs. We were very fortunate today because a stock that we've had for a long time from the, I've mentioned it to you many, many times, Symbotic Inc. end-to-end -end AI, robotic warehouse automation systems. We're in at 21. We've taken a little bits off. I keep, we've been trying to get in for an add-on to what we've taken off. It's been kind of tough, but today, after earnings yesterday, it's up. 37%. It's at 51.20. Wow. Isn't, I mean, Congratulations. Is, That's amazing. Yeah, this is, and it's in an area that I think um, this this is what's needed, robotic warehouse automation systems. So I like it a lot. Um, so very fortunate with that. And then I'd mentioned to you UEC, which is uranium, which is very interesting because it's in the energy area, but not spoken about very much. It made a new recovery high uh, today. At uh, 654, uh, this is Uranium Energy Corporation, UEC is the symbol. Uh, it's doing very nicely. It's also a little bit overbought, but uh, all the technicals are actually very strong. Just the unbalanced volumes a little bought, overbought. So we're in at three, uh, 364, and it's trading right now at 643. So also a very nice. That's you got some big action, Basil. Game. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So, but this is, I think it's going to get a little harder. I'm looking at uh, all the technicals and I'm waiting for a peak D because peak D is where we always make a decision on whether to, what we're going to do, whether we're going to short or it, within three days after a peak D, if there's a new high, that can be treated in a completely different way. So all the Chapman Wave methodology is going to be tested over the next three, four sessions going into next Monday. And I, I'm looking forward to it because it is a challenge. But um, the positions that we have are so far doing well. They're in the, the sweet spot, and that's the most important thing. If you, if you look at the market overall, uh, even in the gold stocks, I was going through them this morning and I, or yesterday to, or today. Yeah, it was today. And we're talking about how it's very selective. Gold is done beautifully. But the GDX, I always like to see gold, uh, G, the GDX, the gold miners lead gold. Um, and if I looked at many of the stocks, many of them are not participating, but the ones that are, are doing really well. Yeah, in, kind of inside the, the GDX, market. you know, what you have, the two largest weightings, you know, is Newmont and 
a barrack and they're both dogs. Both that's, that's, that, well. that, that's, that's what you're looking at there. That's, that's right. the bottom line. But everywhere else, I think, I mean, you're looking at, so I, I, I like the fact that gold has now become a little bit independent. I thought it was because I'd said it mustn't be related to the Middle East. It has to be not a geopolitical uh, currency of insurance. It has to be on its own. And I think the action between gold and silver, especially since silver has really started to lead a little bit, I think now you've got something that's viable, especially with the dollar, which is in a sell mode. Uh, in the uh, in the daily chart, 100, 102 is really the support area when I do the symmetry of the left side to the right side. That's the level I'm looking at to see exactly what happens there. But I think that at the end of the week, I'm going to have to say that the weekly chart has gone from a sell signal maybe to a sell mode. And then I think that it frees up a lot of areas, maybe even bonds. So we're looking at uh, this, this is becoming a little simpler in terms of the market action because folks come on to our, our, our website at TFNN. You're going to newsletters. You see the opening call right on the left hand side. Basil, have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. You're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow Industrials right now on 76, Nasdaq's at 79, S&P's off 11. And, folks, if you haven't test-driven the gold report, bottom line, get over there and test-drive it. I mean, this thing's moving. Uh, gold's moving. The equities are moving. Uh, we were just talking to Basil, yeah, inside the GDX. What you have had is that uh, Newmont and uh, Barrick, they've been dogs, but they even stopped moving. And inside the GDX, those are the uh, two biggest uh, weighting structures, okay, which, which, which of course, 
uh, makes it makes a difference. So they're almost uh, 50 percent of the the GDX. That being said, guess what? You get a lot of them moving in spades. Particularly what has happened if we take a look at uh, yeah, just take a look at this one. This is a major breakout here, and we do own it. Okay, but if you take a look at this. What you're going to see, you busted that. You know this is Wheaton uh, precious metals. You're going to see this is a this is a uh, here we go right there. You're going to see that's a true bust. Bust top side, have the volume behind the move. Bottom line, this is a, a silver broker. That's what this baby does. Um, you know, silver's on its way, and when silver starts moving, uh, you actually get some real action out here. Uh, you got Tim, Al? Yep. Okay, cool. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Waters. We do every, every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D, hyphen oracle.com. That's Ord, hyphen oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, we're looking at some charts here. We're looking at um, some charts. Well, first off, congratulations. I mean, you really hit this thing beyond belief. First, you hit the gold. And then, of course, you know, bottom line, you hit the S and P, and this is this is one hell of a rally, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I don't think it's over. I know. Um, I listen as we go through these. I've been. I, I, I know. I was saying to Jacob upstairs, you know, and this is the what you have also, folks. This is like the perfect time scenario for this to happen. But yeah, let, let's start it off. Um, the first one we're looking at. Uh, I have the first shot yeah, up here, Tim. All right, so it's chart number one, uh, which is the S and P. This is just uh, I've used it over the years; it works fine. And uh, anyhow, the second window up from the bottom, yep, is the uh, ten-day trend. Yes, and usually, uh, you know, it's, it kind of varies. Is you know, this is exactly one point two. You know, long as in the vicinity, especially out this strong rally, we didn't actually get panic at the last low. But as the market rallied, uh, it's all, uh, anyhow, get back to that chart. When that 10-day uh, trend is around 1.2 or higher, that's all the shaded pink areas I okay. did on that chart. I see it, yep. And and so last October, we, we got a bullish signal because you got a trend of around 1.2, marked a short-term low. And we came down and uh, into the late October, actually October 27th was uh, the low, and there's really not a lot of panic in there, but as the market rallied, what's unusual, the trend actually got higher. Okay. So, um, so anyhow, uh, it looks good. And when you get a trend of 1.2 or higher, normally you get panic in the market. You got more, uh, in general, you got more volume in the stocks that are going down. And you think that would be bullish or bearish, but it's actually bullish. Uh, so, uh, anyhow, we got enough panic probably to keep this uh, rally going. Today's not an update. Uh, we're off about a quarter percent, give or take. But, uh, you know, we got a 10-day 10, a 10 day trend. You know, tonight's probably going to be a little higher as I put this date on, which is not last night's close of 1.09. Still leans bullish. So, uh, in effect, that's, you know, leans bullish. I don't see any over-optimism you know, where a top can occur. No, I know, because right uh, now so, you're, we're actually running a 1.19 right now, right, as we're speaking. Which is so, it's like, yeah. okay. <laughs> right. It's kind of building energy. That's why I'm thinking it's probably going to yeah. be higher tonight yeah. on the 10-day trend. But the market kind of is building energy here, probably even move higher during uh, Thanksgiving week. Uh, so let's look to chart two. Tim, you do, know, do you uh, remember, that I, I don't get you, get you off course here, but do you remember, and I, you, you probably do, this was in, um, it was either 98, or maybe it was 96, I don't know, I, I, between 96 and 98. What happened, folks, is this. It was Thanksgiving week, okay, and let's say we were prior to the week, and, and the market had been running like this, right? Well, what happened is that on the day after Thanksgiving, okay, there was only, you know, a half a day. And that day was one of the biggest days I ever saw in the market. But it didn't matter what you bought, everything went up. Everything. I mean, it was like we were, we were all like in awe. I mean, we were all long. And, you know, yeah, I pulled back that following Monday. But I will never forget that day. And I'm, I'm thinking this morning when, you know, just going over your charts and I'm going over the newsletter, I'm saying, you know what, man, this market is set up that it'll be a liquid Friday. 
you know, if NVIDIA comes out with some decent numbers tonight, I mean, they could run this thing on Friday that people will get to get their mind blown, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, you're only, you're only open, you know, from 930 to 1. Do you know what I mean? So. Right. It, yeah, it, could it do it? I, I don't know. I, I, I see there's, there's evidence uh, that could happen. Yeah. And plus, nobody's believing this rally. I mean, right. I'm, I'm still getting comments. I'm thinking, you know, when are you going to sell? I'm thinking, right. I don't know. When, you know <laughs> I know. I know. You know I know. I, I don't see a big problem. That's not saying that. Um, so you know, that, usually that, you get some verges in the VIX or the TLT to uh, the SPX ratio, or you get too many optic readings on the close, or you get a real low trend reading. Yes. You get a lot of kind of signs that, yeah, you're getting kind of exhaustion here. And none of that's happening here, right. at least not not so far. It can happen over the next couple of days, sure. maybe, but right. I don't think the market's going to do it. I think it's going to keep doing right. what it has been doing for the, uh, uh, you know, even though you know, everybody's talking about the gaps, got gaps here, gaps there. but um, There's plenty of time know, for those to get filled later. Right, exactly. So I yeah, get the, the second. Get later, you know, maybe monthly or maybe in January. I don't know. No, I'm with you. Uh, so I'm, is, is, I'm not going to wor worry about it. But if you flip to page two. I have it. Uh, the VIX yeah, this, slash VIX. Yeah, the, the VIX. spy vest VIX. And that's yep. it's a really good sign. It, it, it's a you know, second one down from the top. It's actually the SPX VIX ratio. Right. The only reason I do that is because it kind of mirrors the direction of the S&Ps. Yes. If you do the VIX, normally if the VIX is up, the S&Ps are down. If the VIX is down, use the S&Ps is up. So I did the SPX VIX ratio to kind of see where it's going on. And right now, we're, uh, the SPs are kind of testing the, uh, looks like about the September highs here. And the VIX is also t uh, testing the September, September highs. Yes. And if you look at the top window, VIX September is actually lows, making right. a lower low. Right. Yeah, uh, exactly. Right. So, you know, usually the VIX starts going up. Uh, for several days before the the actual top happens in the S and P's, and so far none of that's happening here. So uh, right, you know, it's it's a it's a good OM. You know, I actually outlined that time we were on the radio back in April May, and we were talking about uh, that market going sideways, and a lot of people are bearish. Well, you know, if, if you look at the VIX at that time. You know, I got it outlined there. Yes. Uh, we were making higher highs uh, where the SPs were basically going sideways. And a lot of times this ratio leads leads the direction of the S&Ps. So, yes. Um, it, looks, it looks pretty, pretty good cool. here so far. Yeah, just wait just wait there one second. Tim and I are going to be coming right back after a short break. Folks, we have the Dow Industrials right now down 80, NASDAQ off 93. S&Ps are off 13. Tim and I will be coming right back, folks. Stay right there. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 67, NASDAQ off 91, S&P's off 13. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord, and we are talking markets here. Okay, Tim, so uh, should I go to number three now? Yeah, go to number three. Uh, okay. It's kind of a, it's a little bit... Kind of gives you a pretty good view of short term, and uh, usually, uh, anyhow, the the bottom window is the daily SPYs. The next window up is the uh, daily uh, tilt to VIX or to BVIX ratio. Yes, and I, I I did the VIX, but the BVIX seems to work better. So, but anyhow, uh, the 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 tan or the pink shaded areas are uh, are showing divergence. Like uh, January of 2023 is a market. Uh, uh, went up. I see that. The ratio went, yeah, the ratio went down. And in uh, July, August of uh, this year, uh, that's actually, you know, I don't know if you remember or not, I got out right at that high. Or I do. Close to it. I do. Yes, and, I do. And uh, this one, this this ratio is one of the reasons why uh, that ratio was, was, you know, market's going higher and higher, and that ratio started to go down. And so, Tim, uh, this is something that we will be watching if, the you know, uh, at some point the market's going to, you know, run out of energy. But this is something that we would be watching in the future also to, to see, to say, okay, are we getting there or high, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. this thing will start to diverge. And you'll see other signs. You know, a lot of times the trend gets way low yep. for a period of time. But you don't, to me, I don't use one indicator. I use, you know, yes. if I get three or four, or preferably at least two, if not three or four all line up, your odds of success really increase a lot. Right. So I, right. Don't, I don't do, because all indicators don't work all the time. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And, and so you, you kind of multiple, you know, you, you have layers to them. Once you get a few layers, uh, agreeing that a market turn is probably coming, and then uh, you, you gotta you gotta bail, I guess you might say. But yeah, right. We're, uh, we're over here in the blue part right now, the light blue part. Okay. And if you notice that uh, the SPs is you know kept rocketing up, and so far that ratio is still making higher highs. Uh, so um, how long, how high can we go? I don't know. Uh, That's you know, so cool. So let's just, I want to go over this chart. just, for, I want to go uh, over this just uh, for a second. So I see what you're saying. Okay. Right. We go back to July. See what you're saying. This was already going down. Markets are still making highs. There's a divergence there. This particular case, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see that, you know, bottom line is this, this is making higher highs, period. Cool, man. Okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's uh, and also I use, uh, this ratio, you know, once something moves too fast, it kind of like goes parabolic. Yes. And normally it goes parabolic. That's usually a bad sign. Okay. And I, I, I mark I marked the acceleration, which is the top two windows, the top windows, of the ROC. Oh, which I is see. A, okay. A rate of change on a ten period, and right below that is the RSI. It's just kind of a. Uh, acceleration type indicators, uh, right. and both of them are 10 day, which is two weeks. 
And so if you get them both lined up, which is the red lines, you're, you're kind of going to exhaustion to the downside. Yeah. And the blue line is kind of exhaustion to the upside. Which you can and see you that's notice. exactly what happened when we came off that low. Unreal. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and so you kind of watch it. Is that going to be a top? Because right. I've seen the same thing. You know, that ratio hit, both ratios hit, uh, you know, uh, overbought one above yes. twenty, other above thirty. Right. And so I was long, and so I kind of watched that ratio, and um, and pretty cool man. because of the acceleration. So that was kind of worrisome sign. I held that position, then all of a sudden we started breaking higher highs on that TLT VIX, VVIX ratio, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm fine. Yep. Uh, I see. Because the ratio, the ratio trumps the acceleration. I I'll see. That way. Okay, so let's so, go to number uh, four. There we go. Chart four. four. Okay, four. All right. Let me get. Is that good? Here. Do you want to do chart four? Yeah, chart four is good. Good. Okay. Actually, can we go to? Can we do five and come back? To Absolutely. Four? Yeah, we. I get five right now. Beautiful. Oh, oh, this is the beauty, folks. Yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so we're looking. You know, we're just off that uh, ratio uh, of the. TLT VVX ratio, you know, it's not showing any divergence. Well, what may happen, if, you know, if you do Weisskopf, remember Weisskopf? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You, to get through a neckline, you have to have a sign of strength, right? Right. Which is big volume and big price movement. Yes. Well, this whole pattern that's been going on here on the SPX going back to late 2021 could be a head and shoulders bottom. I know. And that neckline is right around that 4,600 area on the SPX. Amazing. Well, to get through that neckline, you have to have a sign of strength. Yep. And so what I'm saying is the market actually may get stronger here going forward because to get through that line, you have to have a sign of strength. Right. So, so well, see, there it, may and, be acceleration, actually. Uh, no, and, and listen, term. it would make sense, you know, what you had – you know, one of the guys that, you know, the, the guy that wrote the big shot, Tim, okay, um, you know, in 2007, right, Michael Lewis, right, the bottom line mm -hmm. is that he just closed, he's winding down his hedge fund. It's a long shot fund. And he's winding that it down. It's going to be closed by January because he can't make any money. So that happens, I mean, at highs, too. Do you know what I'm saying? So right. it, when that happens, folks, now, just to understand what happens, they got to close positions, man. So yeah, his hedge fund has like a half a trillion, half a billion, half a billion. Yeah, 500 million or something like that. Uh, bottom line is that you can see what, what could happen as to how you can get a sign of strength. I, I can see how it could happen. You know, you're holding off, you're holding off, you're praying that the market will go down. And then all of a sudden it's like, OK, it's not going down. And, and you know, it's going to go down after everyone closes their shots, of course. OK, but pretty cool, right. man. So let the. This yeah. is this is quite a head and shoulders, Tim. This is pretty amazing. Yeah. Man. Well, if you look, you know, if you take it, go back to 2020, low, you know, the March, the, the COVID crash back in 2020. Yes. If you do the Fibonacci relationship, we only trace 50 percent of that you know, that that uh, advance. Yes. So uh, so if we went down to 61.8 percent, you know, maybe we don't break the neckline. But 50 percent, you know, the odds suggest that we're probably going to. See a science drink maybe through that neckline. This head and shoulders pattern has a major target around 5,700, uh, 5,700, which is about 26 percent higher than where it is at, uh, once you break the 4,600 area. Yeah, that's 1,100 that points higher. That's 1,100 points higher than we are right now, folks. Okay. Wow. Yeah, the gobs and gobs of points higher. So, <laughs> have, have, have we confirmed this pattern yet? No. No. You need a, I, uh, to confirm a head and shoulder bottom, you need a sign of strength through the neckline. Well, and so we're not to the neckline yet. Right. It looks promising. It and does. The, no, I listen. That's uh, right. Step uh, by step. We take... the, the bottom window, too, the uh, SPX VIX ratio. Okay. So this is a monthly chart. And right now, the the SPX VIX ratios is basically uh, uh, testing the high of uh, the previous high. There, it looks like about July. I see that. I see. And, and the S uh, and the SPX hasn't got back to the July yet. And a lot of times, the ratio, as I always said before, leads the S and P's. Wow. So that gives you quite a bit of evidence that we may actually go up and test the July high. Yep. So. Uh, 
Uh, so and I don't just, know. But just I, I just stay, the stay there, folks. Stay there, Tim. We got one more segment. We're gonna, you know, finish this chart up and go to the next one. We have the Dow Industrials right now. See, this thing won't want to stay down. Dow's off 50, Nasdaq off 82, S and P's are off 10. Tim, uh, Tim and I come right back, folks. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Talking about I'm Mr. Tim Ord. No fear, folks. You can hold of Tim every trading day at Ord-Oracle.com. Okay, Tim, so uh, would you like me to go to the last chart or which chart? Uh, you go to chart four real quick. Okay, I got it. Good. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the uh, summation index. And it looks at the bigger picture. The chart goes back to 2007. Yes. And shows the times when the summation index gets below 700. And that's kind of a capitulation of the market. Okay. And uh, so you need a capitulation. Then you need a sign of strength to get a bottom going in the market. Yes. And so that's how the market bottoms. So if you get capitulation and you don't get a sign of strength, you're going to get more capitulation. Okay. And that's what happened in the 2008. You got a bunch of capitulation, kept going down, and finally you got a sign of strength, and that marked the bottom. But we did have uh, uh, capitulation, a sign of strength uh, in the uh, S&Ps. You know, at the last low, which was what? Yes. October 2022, whatever. Well, we may be getting another one because we had a capitulation 
on October 27th, 2023, the uh, summation index hit like a minus 817 or something. I don't remember exactly what the number was. But we did have a reading below minus 700, is 800, minus 800 and stuff. So within two months, so October 27th would be December 27th. Yes. If we can get a, within two months, get to plus 1,000, that would be December 27th. Uh, then you got another capitulation and a uh, sinus shrink. You get two of them. And normally, you know, if you look at this chart, you only get one. And I don't know, I'm sure what two means, but it can't be bad. Right. So. Now, where, where, where are we as to the plus 1,000, Tim? Are we getting close to it? Right. Well, uh, when I did this chart today, was well, actually, this is yesterday's. It'd be a minus 100. So that's where we are right now. And okay. uh, so we got quite a time to go yet. You know, okay. You know, okay. One month, a little over a month. So. Okay. Well, listen, man, you yeah. have a, a great Thanksgiving, a safe Thanksgiving. I won't speak to you next week because we're closed Thursday and Friday, Tim. Okay. Right. Okay, man. We'll talk to you next week. Next Absolutely. Monday. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one, and come join Tommy tomorrow morning.